In this video, I talk about my travel camera gear and what I pack on my carry-on luggage and what I put in my whole luggage. Morning everybody, fantastic to see you all again. So what I'm gonna to do today is talk all about my gear and what I take with me on a trip. I'm just about to go to Iceland. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you how I ensure I get my um, weight and size limit onto my carry-on bag and what I decide and what decisions I make for my whole luggage as well. So the first thing to say is I take two carry-on bags. The first one's my laptop bag, and I can put other things in there like cables, and I'll go through that in a little bit more detail. And then I've also got this bag, which is a, a timber bag. I'll link all the details in, in below, but this bag here, you can probably just see it, is just about fits most airline limits it's about i think it's about 43 centimeters long um which is that we well within most height limits and it's certainly wide and, and fat enough to go in all the limits as well so i put my luggage in there but i also take um in my carry-on luggage another timber bag so a smaller one because if i'm going on a trek i don't want to take that big one i'll, I'll take this smaller one um so that's my bags so first of all let me talk about what i take on my carry-on luggage that's probably best um, so obviously I've got my cameras um, and my lenses so I've got a Nikon Z6 with a 14 to 30 millimeter lens and um, I always put the lens on the body because I feel like that's the most compact way of, of carrying it so I'm, I'll just put everything in the in the actual bag as I, as I talk about them so stick that in and then I've got a a Z7 as well with a 24 to 70 lens in. In this trip, I'm not going to be taking my Fuji. I'm actually recording on my Fuji at the moment um, because I tend to now on trips take both Nikons. Sometimes I'll take my Fuji as well. Or if I'm just going on a walk or just want a really light camera, then I'll take my Fuji. But most of the time now I take both my Nikons. It just makes it a little bit easier um, in terms of lenses. So I've got my Z7 and a 24 to 70 on that. So I'll stick that in. And then I have got my 70 to 200. So that's basically the, the uh, holy trinity of lenses, basically. It takes me from 40 millimeters all the way up to 200 millimeters. This is a really old 70 to 200, but it still works really well. I will be getting the Z um, 70 to 200 when it comes out, the Z mount, um, but it's not out yet. So I'll stick that in. So then I've got uh, my drone. So I've got my... Um, Mavic 2 Pro with a spare battery and the controller. It's fairly easy. That goes in the front here. And yep, the controller. Completing the lenses, I've got a Z mount adapter um, because obviously I need that from a 70 to 200 and the next lens I'm going to talk about. So this next lens is a, a Samyang F 2.4 lens, 14 millimeter. So this is a manual focus lens, but it is incredibly good for astrophotography. So I specifically bought it for astro, for shooting the aurora. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to use it when I'm in um, Iceland. So that goes in. And then I've also got my, my hood for my 24 to 70. I don't usually put that in my bag. I usually put that in my hold luggage because I'm not too bothered if I lose that. I mean, I don't want to lose it, but it's just quite, it takes up a lot of space and I just don't think it's necessary to put in my carry-on. So I put that in my hold luggage. So then I've got um, my case um, filters. So in this fil filter pouch, which has got a three stop, a six stop, a 10 stop, a polarizer, and it's, as I've mentioned so many times before, super tiny. So that goes in really easily. That goes in there. So then I've, I've got these small bags that I put various things in. So let me talk about the things that I actually take on my carry-on luggage first, and then I'll talk a bit more about um, the, the one that I put in my whole luggage. The, the first one here is, is all my microphone gear. So this has got, um, so these bags are from Temba. They're, they're called um, Temba tools. So you can get like different sizes with different pocket sizes in, and they're fairly customizable. It's just a good way if you've got lots of little bits just to organize them and just make sure that you've got one of these for maybe your microphone, one for your batteries, one for your wires and things like that. So this has got all my microphone stuff in. Obviously I'm wearing a bit of that gear at the moment, so it's not full. 
And that I definitely take on my carry-on. That goes in in this bag as well. Then I've got this one here. So this one actually has all my wires in it. So all my cables for connecting and charging, some spare batteries, an old light torch, which is really good torch. And again, the links to these is in the, is in the description below. So I've got an old light torch, a spare um, nine volt battery for one of my microphones. And then the other side of this, I've got all my um, sort of dongles that you need nowadays and any other bigger batteries. So that's like a battery for my Narbox, which I'll talk about in a minute. And then um, my XQD adapter and then various other adapters in there for, for connecting to my laptop. So these, this one goes in my laptop bag. So this one goes in here. So just goes in, in this bag here. And then this one, which has got all my cleaning gear in. So this has got like a sensor brush, just, just in case I get dust, which in Iceland there's a high likelihood of happening. So I can just brush it off. I've got a swab in there. Um, I've got some shower caps to go over my camera if it's raining, some spare shower caps. I've got a mount to go over my lens um, if, if I'm wanting to just take the lenses off and clean them and put a mount on my lens to cover the sensor. I've got a spare microfiber cloth and a blower and some lens wipes, which I don't really like using because they're not great for the environment, but if I have to, then, then I've obviously got those. And then I've also got other microfiber cloths as well um, that I put in my camera bag. So I'll stick those in. And this one, this cleaning kit goes in my hold luggage because if I actually lost my hold luggage, I, it wouldn't be the end of the world if I lost this. It'd be, I really want it, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. So that goes in my hold luggage. Then the final things are these here. So I've got a battery, goes in my luggage. Um, I've got a SSD drive, a really tiny SSD drive that's got my Lightroom catalog on. So that means that when I'm looking at my photos, I can import them directly into my actual Lightroom catalog. Um, and then any edits I do, any categorization I do whilst I'm away is just in my main catalog. So I put my Lightroom catalog on there and that goes in my laptop bag. And then I've got an SD card and XQD card holder here, which has just got a lot of cards in. So, yep, that goes in my camera bag. And finally, I just want to speak about um, Pebbles <laughs> is interested in this part as well. This, which is the NAR, Narbox 2.0. So I've had this for quite a while. I can't remember how long now, maybe three or four months. Um, and I was sent it for free. Um, so I'm really lucky to get, to get it. But I didn't do a review and there was loads of people talked about them because I have to admit, I didn't really find it that useful. Um, you know, it's got a lot of amazing functionality that allows you to connect to it wirelessly with your phone, look at all the things you've downloaded to it and then, and then downloaded. But I've tried really hard to use it um, and then use it as, from a battery point of view, you know, when I'm on location. But if, if I'm honest, I don't, I don't think it's worth the amount of money that, that it costs, which I think this is something like, for the one terabyte, something like 800 pounds or something. Um, now, it's not that I don't use it, because I actually do use it. Um, as, as At the end of the day, I get back and I just plug my SD card or whatever card into this. You, can, you know, it's got lots of different, it's got a, a slot for an SD card, it's got USB-C, and you can just plug your card into it and then you can just click a button and it downloads and it's super easy just to back your stuff up. So as a secondary backup, it works really well. But I just don't think for the cost of it that I could recommend it to anybody to, to spend any money, which I feel bad about because they've given it, given it me for free and they'll probably never give me anything again. But th th they're, they're my thoughts uh, and they're honest. <laughs> so um, yeah, I thought I'd mention it. I still do use it. I still always take it. So I feel even worse. I still use it, but um, I don't think I'd spend that much money on it. I think you can, you know, I always take a laptop as well and just for a little hard drive that maybe costs 80 pounds, you can you can do the same. It just takes a little bit longer. So there we go. Actually, there's one other thing I want to talk about. I was going to go through all my clothes as well, but I think I'm going to do that when I get back. Um, so in a couple of weeks um, that I use for winter. But one other thing that I, I definitely want to talk about is my gloves and, and what gloves I use when I'm doing photography, because I've just replaced my really old ones. So let me just go and get them one second. 
Okay, so I went a little bit further to get them. I'm in Iceland now, and you can see I'm at the amazing Stockness, which is just incredible. We've come down in the morning, we've got this amazing sort of frost on the black sand as well. So I'm gonna be taking a picture really quickly, but I wanted to talk about these gloves. So I've got these sort of innards here, which are great, just when I wanna use my camera. And then when I just wanna warm my hands up, I can just stick them really easily in my mittens. And I find that's really, really helpful for my photography. Just quickly, whilst I'm here, one other thing just to talk to you about is the tripod that I take. Um, and I don't take a really big tripod usually when I'm, when I'm um, traveling, just because I find that a, a medium sized one is good enough and you know, fairly lightweight. So I've got this one here, just take you off there. So I've got the Benro iPhoto FIF 28C and that works really well and it's also got like a ball head which works really incredibly well okay i need to get photographing now back to me in the studio fitted in it was the right size and underweight as well for most airlines some have a, a lower weight limit and then you could probably just take one of your lenses out sometimes what I do is take a lens out and stuff it in a sock and then put it in a boot in my um, whole luggage obviously there's a risk with that but I've done it many times and touch wood I've not had any problems so far so I just want to talk about giveaway so I've got these um, Timber tool bags, which are really, really useful. And I've got some spare ones of them that I want to give away. So if you want to win um, a set of these Timber tool bags, then all you've got to do is share your best idea, your best travel tip idea for when you're packing your, your luggage. It might be something you take with you. It might be a way you pack it. It might be just something that you thought that just makes such a big difference. So a hack, a tip or a trick, share it in the comments below and I'll pick out the best one in a couple of weeks and I'll send you out um, the selection of, of, of bags from, from Temba, which are fantastic. Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching and until next Sunday, bye.